Yo guys, what's going on? John here, coming back at you with a new gameplay, bringing you guys some Gears of War 3 on Raven Down, King of the Hill. I do hope you guys do enjoy this kind of gameplay. Don't really bring any gameplays other than caught onto my channel, so I hope you know something new does um, spice it up a little bit. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, I do end up dropping like 30 kills going ham. I don't really play Gears of War 3 that much, but when I do, I do a bit. I mean, I was going ham in this gameplay, so thumbs up for that 30 bomb. I was just, I really wanted that 30 bomb. I was doing, um, you guys all know you have to record this live. There's no theater system on Gears of War 3, so I have to record this live. And, you know, I was just trying to get the best gameplay. Me dropping a 30 bomb was just freaking awesome. So I do hope you guys enjoy this kind of gameplay. Um, I'm kind of getting bored of MW3 just uploading the same old COD. I'm um, uploading game battles matches, uploading tournament matches, uploading pickups, scrims, and... You know, it's just not fun anymore. Just playing, just watching the gameplay. I kind of get bored of it. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting bored of it too. But I'm not going to stop. Um, I'm, of course, I'm going to be uploading COD gameplays. Um, just not as... Yeah, it's a lot actually. Just not as often as I am right now. Uploading every single day. You know, some COD gameplay. Just going to lay off a little bit until Black Ops 2 comes out. Um, of course, I'm just I'm going to be uploading a lot. But not too many COD Maybe some Gears of War, maybe some Halo, any other game. But COD is really getting boring right now. But yes, I'm going to be uploading game battles matches, still tournament matches, scrims. Um, but right now it's just getting boring for me. But I can't wait to Black Ops 10. I want to get into that in a couple seconds right now. But before I get into that, I just want to say, um, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have been supporting my YouTube channel, that have been liking my videos, that have been. You know, leaving the best comments. I've been watching almost every single one of my videos. Um, I just want to say thank you. Now I have a. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway once I hit 10,000 subscribers. You guys all know once I think I, I think I said once I hit 2,000 I give away a headset. Well now I'm giving away my Scuff Gaming Yin Yang controller, the one I did a review on a couple of days ago that you guys just saw. Um, once I hit 10k, I'll be giving that controller away. Um, just make sure to leave a like on all my videos and a comment. I'll be picking the best supporter out there. And I just have to say a big thank you to all of you that have been sort of supporting my videos. Um, that have been liking and have been commenting on it, as I said. Um, it's just, yeah, it helps me out so much. It makes me want to do YouTube so much more. And I thank you guys for that. So if you guys want, you know, please leave a like down below. And a comment, um, whatever you guys want to say. Just nothing disrespectful, something that support supports my channel and um once i hit 10,000 subscribers i'll try to pick a lucky subscriber and you know give away my yin yang controller maybe give something else away i'm not sure yet i'll think about it um but I'll, I'll try to pick my best supporter out there the one that's been you know supporting me the most the one that's been there since the beginning the one that hasn't talked shit ever hasn't you know disrespected me once so yes all of you that have disrespected me and you know try to be good friends with me now tough luck for you but yeah you know i just have to say thank you guys for being there for me um i just i can't say thank you enough but yeah so once i hit 10,000, i'll be giving that controller away now on to black ops 2 i don't know if you guys have been watching gamescom you know optics over there envy's over there it's over in germany what i'm saying over there um gamescom was over at germany um all the top teams from like two top teams from north america and two top teams from england i think were over there i'm not sure but um i know optic was over there envy was over there i think sk was over there i'm not totally sure i just know the two na teams that were over there and it was optic and envy and you know they've been tweeting out all day ever since they've been over there the, the game has been awesome it's you know it's gonna be so big for competitive and as you guys all know david von der Hart, you guys have been watching gamescom david von der Hart is you know supporting competitive gaming to the max you know everything he's doing is for competitive gaming he's doing you know rank system he's adding like a live stream into the game you know that's gonna help out a lot of people out um maybe build some youtube um new youtubers out there for people that do like to play pubs a lot you know if you guys didn't know once i think once you hit like there's going to be a rank system on black ops too, if you guys didn't know something like halo 3 where you rank up you play like you play fours it's 4v4 all the time like mlg and you try to rank up to let's say 50 like halo 3 goes all the way up to 50 it's not like you know mw3 or mw2 where you have to rank up to 70. oh well on black ops 2 there's going to be a rank system um 
it's like a playlist, MLG playlist, where you get to play it as a team, 4v4, against other people, and you get to rank up. Now, this separates the good people from the bad people, just because if you win, you rank up, if you lose, you, you know, you don't rank up, and you keep downgrading, and you keep playing the same people that are in your level. So this is really good, and the people that get to the highest rank first will be the first people to live stream. Yes, Black Ops is having their own live stream, so you get to the first people that get to the highest level. I, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just going to say Grandmaster, just because that's what everyone else is saying. I'm not sure if that's what it's going to be called. Um, as you guys don't know, Grandmaster is on StarCraft, like the highest level. So it's going to be something like that. The first person that gets the Grandmaster will be able to live stream. Um, I guess your whole team will be able to live stream. And, you know, you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to buy a new computer. You don't have to go buy a Black Magic or go buy HDP VR. You don't have to buy any of that. So, you know, this does help out those of you that, you know, don't have too much money to buy all this equipment. Um, this does give you guys a chance to live stream your own gameplay, build your own YouTube channel, build your own live stream. So, you know, you guys should take advantage of this. Try to be, like, the first that can make it to Grandmaster. Um, someone was telling me that um, the people that do get the streaming privilege will be in like the front page of Black Ops, so like everyone could be watching you any like from anywhere at any time. So it's you know incredible. You guys should really take advantage of this. Um, this can build like this is like the new COD. They're just supporting, as I said, they're supporting competitive to the max, and they're co they're supporting pubs. But you know they're trying to bridge that cap, that gap, I mean like that cap. That gap where, you know, pub players and competitive players, you know, comp there's not too many competitive players, but there's over, like, over 100,000 pub players, and they're trying to bridge the gap, the gap, and, like, bring them all together and bring them into one, and, you know, this is really big for YouTube, um, for our, everyone that does competitive on YouTube, you know, this, you know, this may help you go big on YouTube, so hopefully this game does go big, um, Rambo, Big Timer, Merrick, Twiz, everyone, Karma, just reading out that the game's the best, the gun is the best, uh, every gun in it is, you know, it's simple, it's not too hard to use, it's, you know, it's just really good, the perk system they have in it, um, I heard you, you can have, like, five perks, but if you get, like, so if you use five perks, you can't have a secondary, um, I'm not too sure, I'm just blabbing around what I heard. I'm not just sure what they're going to have. I've just been watching Gamescom, and I'm just really focused on the guns and the maps. You know, MD if you guys all know MW3, the guns were horrible. Um, the guns weren't too bad, but the maps were horrible. The spawns. So hopefully, you know, they've been speeding out the whole week and saying the guns and the map and the spawns are pretty good. So you know, hopefully everything goes out good for Black Ops 2. They said that the game is done and making, so they're just trying to touch up a little bit everywhere you know fix up the flaws they have all the glitches anything that like if the boats don't register that well so they did say the gu the game's done in making though so they're just trying to fix up the little spots all the, all the little flaws in it but i do hope that sums it up if you guys haven't been watching gamescom i've been watching a lot of league of legends actually um if you guys don't know who um what league of legends is is a computer game like something like starcraft i'm pretty sure you guys know what it is it's fucking humongous right now it's bigger than starcraft actually and you know it's just awesome i've been playing that a lot i've been trying to watch all the streams I'm trying to get better at it um of course i'm not gonna try to go pro but i'm trying to be pretty good at it i'm not too bad right now but there's a stream at gamescom they're playing some league of legends like regionals for an eu and it's just really big. Yesterday they got over like 90,000 viewers on it. And it was just crazy how much you can learn from one stream. You know, how competitive it is. How big the venue is. How many people show up. It's just how big. You know, League of Legends is so big. And I, like, I wish one day, I hope one day, Call of Duty will get like that. Um, with, you know, Bondahar supporting COD. Um, as you guys all know, Riot Gaming supports League of Legends, you know, they do everything for LAN events, they put money down, they give people, um, the venues equipment, the people that host the tournaments, they give them equipment, they do everything for, just to support League of Legends, and that's what David Volnahar is trying to do, make it as big as League of Legends, kind of, you know, he's just trying to support as much as he can and trying to get as big as he can. So hopefully, you know, with David Volnahar supporting COD, it will get big one day as it is as League of Legends. Um, maybe not as big as it, but maybe close to it. Um, I'm just hoping. But, guys, the gameplay, there's like 13 minutes of that. I can't believe I just commentated this so much. I've been messing up here and there. But, um, I'm kind of, I'm pretty sorry that I haven't been uploading the past couple of days. 
Um, I've been, my sleeping schedule, I said, when I've been playing League of Legends, you know, League of Legends, I've been watching every single day. It's just, the game's so good. And my, because of League of Legends, my sleeping schedule is really bad right now. So, I've been staying, like, I've been waking up 6 in the afternoon and going to sleep at 6 in the, in the morning. And it's just horror. I've just been playing League of Legends, nothing other than League of Legends. Maybe some pubs here and there. But the game looks like it's coming to an end. I'm about to win once I hit 210. But, guys, uh, this has been John. And... I hope you guys do enjoy this game plan, this commentary. I'll be uploading a commentary for now on every single day. I'm, just, I'm trying to fix my sleeping schedule, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay slash commentary. Um, peace.